Hello everybody. Um, today I'm doing a redo, well not so much redo, but a video version of a massively forgotten features uh, blog that I did earlier called the UI Programming. And uh, here I am in Runes of Magic. I'm actually playing this time instead of just, you know, actually just moving the camera a little bit. Anyway, when it comes to uh, UI programming, a couple of games actually uh, do allow UI programming. Uh, Runes of Magic is one. Another one is WoW. Uh, third one, I think, is Age of Conan. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but what UI programming allows is for behaviors of the game itself to be altered. A lot of modern MMOs actually allow their customers to reskin the the UI. It allows them to change the look of the UI, but not the feel, not the functionality. Um, a lot of people believe that add-ons, as they're called in both Runes of Magic and World of Warcraft, that add-ons are playing the game for you. Um, now, in Runes of Magic, there may be some element of that because it is not as mature as World of Warcraft. But in in uh, WoW, Blizzard really locked it down early on, and uh, any time that there is an add-on in Runes of Magic that might be autoplay, just remember I don't support that kind of play. Um, if it doesn't con if it doesn't work in the confines of WoW, I feel that it is out of bounds and not the type of thing I'm putting forth here. Anyway, uh, so a few little things here. You'll notice that. For the most part, this looks like a normal normal UI, except for this little box right here telling me, you know, my beetroot, my herbalism, how many I've got, and all of that. Another one is this bar along the top here with all the uh, all the different little drops, drop downs, and uh, features here. Third one that uh, I'd like to draw your attention to is this bar a little here. Um, this is where a lot of my, I configure a lot of my add-ons, or I get a lot of uh, uh, you know, customization for those add-ons. Now, one of the add-ons that I have, which uh, ties into what I'm about to do right now, is this daily notes. And what this does is it shows you all of the dailies that you have, not only in the current zone, but it could be all zones, like so. But uh, in the current zone for your main class or your secondary class, and it tells you if you have enough to turn it in, and uh, if you highlight it, you'll see where the where it starts. Um, now I happen to have uh, three of the, an ancient inheritance here. The other thing that it does is uh, let me turn this off real quick. Auto quest, turn that off. Okay. Normally, what I would have to do is click on this find, oh, Ancient Inheritance, by the way, this is added by the add-on right here. Click on that, say yes, I want to accept it. Then, ooh, I'm in the entire wrong place. Ah, well, let's, uh, let's get to the right place here. Just teleport over to uh, the main city. Little login screen here, I'm gonna pause a sec. Okay, now that I got rid of that loading screen, here's where I do the turn in, and uh, click on it, say, Yes, I actually want to turn this in. Now, that's not a hardship. It really isn't. However, let me grab, run around here, turn back on Auto Quest. And what this does, you'll see every marked quest will be accepted and completed automatically if an NPC or building, uh, bulletin board is opened. Collection quests are only accepted if the quest conditions are fulfilled. Well, I've got two more turn ins on this one. So now I come up to the board, and instead of having to actually click on everything, just takes it. It's that simple. It's not really autoplay. I mean, you don't, you don't, what's the harm in powering through a couple of clicks there? And it will do the same thing on the other side over here. Once I get back up and around to this, uh, to this guy. Now I could turn it in once more after this, but I've got another feature I want to show you. And uh, let me get over to it real quick here. Another quick cut. Okay, here's the other feature I want to show you. Another add-on that I've uh, put into place. Here's the auction house. You know how it's the advanced auction house by Graves. Now what this does is, uh, let me see, I want to look for armor that I can use that's over level 16. Now this is all stuff that I can do in the normal uh, auction house. 
I can do the search. This is new over here, but I don't really use these. But the main thing is this right here. Price per unit. Now, this allows me to sort on the price per unit. And where this comes into play, where it really comes into play, is uh, if I open up my bags here and say that I wanted to sell this tin ore. So I do a search for tin ore, turn this off, do a search. What you'll see is different stacks with different prices. Now if I sit here and I actually go by this sort, which is what you normally get, you'll see this stack is worth or is bidding for 20,000 buyout. This one's 19,500. But if you look at the price per unit, since this is 99, it's 202 per unit. This is 195. Sorting by this, you'll notice that the price per unit can fluctuate even though this right here, oh, here's a good example. 19,000, 100 ore. 18,000, 20 ore. Look at the price per unit. This is a big pet peeve of mine. A lot of MMOs do not have this. And the add-on allows you to actually uh, put that functionality into the UI. It's not skidding, it's an actual functional change. But it has nothing to do with combat. And that's the, the really cool part about these UIs. This is custom. I've got uh, custom things down here for changing the behavior slightly of the chat windows. Another thing that I've got is whenever I uh, highlight someone, you notice how it comes up down here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out real quick, turn off all of my add-ons, and then log back in and show you uh, what the base UI looks like in those differences. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, here we are in the base base UI. There's no add-ons. Notice uh, this is still here, but uh, it doesn't look as nice. Uh, it doesn't have the daily marker at the top. I'm lacking the bar up here, my informational bar. That tells me, you know, just general stats. Uh, something else. Oh yes, the uh, auction house. Here we go. See, I could do all the searches. I don't have the item here, and there's no price per unit. So again, if I come in here and do a search for tin ore, and do a search, the only thing I can go by is the auction price. And you'll notice I start doing that, and I can get zinged pretty easily because of the. Uh, it's not going by a price per unit. There it is, eighteen thousand, fifteen thousand. So, uh, flip this again, there we go. Yeah, there it is. Now it is, 18,000, 15,000. Uh, 15, so you can see that um, I could get dinged by seeing all these hundreds and going, oh, 20, 20, 20, ooh, 18, I'm going to buy this. And bam, I get nailed for it. So uh, that's what the portion of the UI programming that I think is just absolutely essential in modern MMOs. The reason being is because the developers uh, just can't can't keep up with every little annoying detail for every person. I mean, here's another example. Notice now that the uh, when I highlight this NPC, the name follows him instead of being down in this corner. When you're fighting a mob and you put your mouse on the mob and you get this this block over it, it's just it's frustrating to me. It's, hey, some people like it, I don't. I like having it static down here. So instead of having to bug the developers and say, hey, developers, make it to where I could do this, make it to where I could do that, what they do is they give limited functionality for their for their uh, their customers, the programmers who are also customers, to be able to adjust the non-combat portions, the portions that that make the game more fun to play because the UI gets out of your way. The UI works how you want it to based on the add-ons that you choose to use or not to use. Uh, like I said, same way with WoW. Now, I just want to say it again. If it goes into combat, where if it starts automatically take action in combat, making decisions, not, not pre-programmed sequences, you know, saying that I'm going to cast one and then two and then three, if I do one, two, three every time, there's going to be a situation where I might want to skip two, for example. Pre-program sequences like that are not a problem. But if there's logic that says one, two, and three, except in this case where we skip two, 
That's autoplay, and that's the type of add-on that I do not endorse, that I think no MMO should have the capability uh, built into it. So anyway, that is, I think, my absolute biggest massively forgotten feature when it comes to MMOs, is being able to adjust how the UIs work. So please rate if you like it or not. It lets me know uh, what you think. And if you have any opinions on it, feel free to either uh, post them here on YouTube or head over to my blog and uh, catch up on the rest of the Massively Forgotten Feature series and uh, post your comments there. Thanks. Have a good day.